Bless you this morning on the 714 on the Saturday raining with uh, Saturday raining Saturday morning is great man I'm really excited for that um, thank you for joining me this week you know this week we've been talking about um, uh, uh, wisdom and we've been looking at the book of Proverbs and today as you start your day uh, I want to look at Ecclesiastes which is also a book of wisdom you know, this morning in a couple hours, I'm going to be doing the funeral memorial service uh, for Richard Rodriguez's mother. And um, and so pray for the Rodriguez family as we go to Forest Lawn in West Covina and pray that God would bring comfort to them. And uh, one of the scriptures that I'm going to be using today is found in chapter 7, verse 2, and you see it on the screen. And it says this, better to spend your time at funerals than at parties. After all, everyone dies, so the living should take this to heart. You know, that, that, that was always an intriguing verse to me, and I didn't quite understand it uh, for many years, but then I began to grasp it, and, and God began to show me the importance of this in the area of wisdom, and that is this, that... God is saying that it's good for us to go to funerals, to pay attention to the brevity or the shortness of life. Life is very short. Even when you live many, many years on this earth, it's still short compared to eternity. And if we're not careful, we can get caught up with the everyday life. Uh, we can deal with uh, uh, just carrying on with life, the busyness of life, doing life, family, business, whatever, and fail to understand that it's all just a fleeting moment as uh, James tells us uh, we're here one day and gone the next and so at least at funerals it takes us a moment to pause and contemplate life eternal and I think it's very important because we can get so caught up with life that we forget the more important things of life and the more important things of life is where are we going to spend eternity and so when you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your eternity is set in heaven and to be absent from the body is to be in the presence of the Lord. So there are some wonderful things. So although it's hard to grasp, why would it be a good thing for us to go to funerals? It's really there to bring us back to a reality that life is short and there is a life after death. And so how important it is for, understand, for us to understand that 
that uh, God loved us so much that he sent his son into the world. And those that would place their faith in him would have eternal life. And so I hope and pray that encourages you today. Take time out on a regular basis and contemplate eternity. The busyness of life is not going to sustain us when we draw our last breath. It's our hope and, and, and our trust in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you and I praise you for this wonderful, wonderful rainy morning. And Lord God, we thank you because our hope is in you. And Lord, and Father, although none of us enjoy going to funerals, Lord, there is some great uh, uh, truths in this that it gives us time to pause and think about uh, life uh, eternal. And God, help us to evaluate our life because life eternal is set on this side of life. And so, Lord God, may we truly make the right decisions of putting you first in our lives as we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Lord God, I pray those that are watching, if they've never come to that place of understanding your love, I pray that they would understand that you love the world so much that you sent your son Jesus. And those that would place their faith in him would have eternal life. And Lord God, we thank you and we praise you for that hope that we have. And for those that have placed their faith in you, Lord God, I pray that that will always sustain us, Lord God, that we can share with others that hope that we have and that comfort that we have, even in the midst of loss and tragedy, Lord God. And Father, we're so careful to praise you. And Lord God, today, especially too, we as the people of God lift up uh, Bill uh, uh, before you, Lord God. Father, he had a uh, last uh, couple days, a really rough life and, uh, and in his health. And so, Father, we pray that you would touch Bill in his life and touch him in his physical body. And, God, we pray for Vivian, that you give her strength in her body, Lord. God, give her strength in her mind and in her soul that she continues to walk beside her husband in these days. And so, Father, we thank you and we praise you. Be with your people, God. We're so thankful for what you're doing in us and through us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you today. Go with God. Have a great day. Be safe out there. Uh, the roads are wet. Also, make sure you do what you need to do to keep yourself healthy. Amen. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I have changed the title of my message for tomorrow. Is It's not the fruit of the Spirit. It is walking in the Spirit. So it's going to be a great message. Hope you can join us in person. Uh, remember, tomorrow we're going to be giving out our uh, Thrive 2020, 2021 bracelets. We want to make sure that we get those out to you. And if you're not, and you're going to be watching by your devices, please just call the office, stop by and pick up one. And uh, let's do this together. Amen. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.